Hey everybody, I'm JJ, you're watching Reality Survival, and today we're going to talk about a huge myth or lie that I have heard perpetrated throughout the prepper community and social media writ large since about the beginning of COVID. It was somewhere around that time frame. There was this claim that came out that 99% of drugs in America uh, or, or drugs that are used in America are produced in China. And we are entirely reliant upon China for antibiotics and other uh, pharmaceuticals, you know, the active pharmaceutical ingredients for, you know, lots of our different medicine and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to see if that was true. Of course it is not true. <laughs> Pretty much any time you hear something is a 99% of this and that, you can almost guarantee it's not true. So I did find an article that gives a pretty good breakdown of where our actual drug supplies do come from. And so I thought that I would read a little bit of it from uh, to you and I would also share some of these graphics with you in this video so that you could see where they come from. Now, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, I'm still dealing with COVID for the second time. Um, it is, it's not as, it's not that bad, but it's also not that good either. So let me, let me go ahead and break this down. Um, let's see. The United States, this is just part from this article here. This is uh, from uh, FDA.gov. It's a news event uh, and congressional testimony by, um, Let's see, Madam Chairwoman, Ranking Member Burgess, and members of the subcommittee. I am Dr. Janet Woodcock, the director of the director of the Center for Drug Evaluation and Research at the Food and Drug Administration Agency, um, which is part of the Department of Health and Human Services. So this was her article is basically her testimony here to to Congress. Um, so this first paragraph here says, the United States through its investment in biomedical research has become a world leader in drug discovery and development, but is no longer in the forefront of drug manufacturing. Historically, the production of medicines for the U.S. population has been domestically based. However, in recent decades, drug manufacturing has gradually moved out of the United States. This is particularly true for manufacturers of active pharmaceutical, ingredient, active pharmaceutical ingredients, APIs. The actual drug that are then formulated into tablets, capsules, injections, etc. As of August 2019, only 28% of manufacturing facilities making APIs to supply the U.S. market were in our country. By contrast, the remaining 72% of the API manufacturers supplying the U.S. market were overseas, and 13% are in China. 13% are in China. Now that 13% is way too high, but it's a far cry from 99%. <laughs> the FDA's data show the number of registered facilities making APIs in China has more than doubled between 29 or 2010 and 2019. So it used to be said what six and a half percent now it's about 13 <clears throat> all right so here's one graph that uh, breaks down the percentage of api manufacturing facilities for all drugs by country or region from august of 19. now as you can see the united states 28 percent india 18 percent the eu 26 percent china 13 percent rest of the world 13% and Canada 2%. So that's a pretty interesting breakdown. Um, we still do the majority of that breakdown, right? 28% is the highest of those, but it's still uh, not high enough in my opinion. It should be a lot higher than that, but it's not only 1%. Uh, let's go down here a little bit further in the article. There's another graph that I'll share with you guys. And this is talking about API manufacturing facilities for all regulated drug products. Now in this graph on the left, we can see that China has 230 facilities. The United States has 510 facilities and the rest of the world has 1,048 facilities, all right, that are monitored. And then they just show that uh, breakdown in a pie chart as well. 
and that is again the number and percentage of API manufacturing facilities for all drugs by region in August of 2019. All right, uh, let's see, next portion here, API manufacturing facilities for the World Health Organization essential medicines on the U.S. market. So according to this graph, the number of API facilities for all 370 U.S. marketed drugs on the 2019 World Health Organization Essential Medicines list. China makes 166 of those. The U.S. makes 221. The rest of the world makes 687. And then we show a pie chart breakdown of that where <coughs> in that category, China makes 15%, the U.S. makes 21%, and the rest of the world makes 64%. All right, so essentially, I think that's all that I, I really wanted to get into here um, in this article. I'll leave a link to the description below so you guys can check out this article. It talks a little bit about national security recommendations, national security findings, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the main thing that I wanted to do is dispel this rumor that is talking about the idea that you know China makes 99% of medicines that we use because it's a big lie and it's repeated often on prepper channels and I don't know why it's so prevalent uh, or prevailing in, in videos. It drives me nuts. But uh, it's out there and now you know the reality of the situation. <laughs> so also I will let you know that if you are interested in having a supply of antibiotics on hand for the most common types of things that you might see in a grid down kind of situation, most common types of injuries and that kind of thing, then you can go to jacemedical.com. You can purchase their antibiotics packs. It's basically a five pack of five different antibiotics. And if you use the discount code Reality Survival, it'll save you, I think, 10%. Um, but I would recommend having at least, at least one of those, but really one per person would be best. Um, if you wanted to really stock up on that, um, they are fairly expensive. It's it's about equal to what it costs to go and buy the the um, equivalent um, you know fish meds and all that kind of stuff. It's about the same cost as what it would cost to those, except these are actual legal prescription antibiotics prescribed to you by a doctor out of uh, Utah and out of a pharmacy out of Utah. They, they do it by mail through telehealth medicine. And all you gotta do is go on to Jason Medical, you fill out a couple of questions, and then they'll send you the stuff after you you know you pay for it, of course. Um, and it's a pretty good deal. So head over to Jason Medical, take a look at it, see what you think, if it's for you or not. Um, and don't worry, it's not coming from China. <laughs> all right, guys. That's it for me. Uh, don't forget to live six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe.